Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shada Aqeel. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa receives His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Ghulaybiyah Palace today. The two leaders reviewed topics of positive impact on the national economy, including the promotion of the tourism sector, so as to constitute an added value. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also reviewed issues related to plans to develop the work environment. They highlighted the government's continuous programs aimed at improving the work environment for citizens and residents through strengthening it by regulations that are in line with international standards and providing protection and guarantees for expatriate workers in order to be a motivating element and contribute to stimulating investments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghulaybiyah Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's national gains and cultural achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King wishing His Majesty and the Bahraini people many happy returns. The cabinet recalled the achievements of the former ruler of Bahrain, the late His Highness, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in his outstanding contribution which laid the foundation for Bahrain's development in all fields, which continued in the era of the late His Highness, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and increased in the era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the inauguration of the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mosque which was built to commemorate the name of the deceased upon His Majesty the King's directive. His Royal Highness urged to speed up implementing and completing services and development projects 
allocate a location for the new health center in Budaya and the Sa'ada Sa project in Muharraq, as well as the development of the old Muharraq market. The Prime Minister directed to aestheticize public streets to reflect Bahrain's urban development and progress and continuing development in public transport bus stops with modern designs that reflect the development of public transport. The cabinet approved introducing a wage protection system that requires employers to transfer workers' wages in private companies to banks rather than paying them in cash. The procedure should be done gradually according to the size of the establishment and in consultation with Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The system will take effect in May of this year. The cabinet instructed the Minister of Labor and Social Development to issue the necessary measures. The cabinet approved increasing the punishment for publishing pictures or comments related to the private lives of families or individuals. It also approved a draft law amending the penal code to impose a penalty of imprisonment for at least three months and no more than one year and a fine of at least 100 Bahraini dinars and no more than 500 Bahraini dinars. The cabinet reviewed the kingdom's implemented and under implementation agreements, treaties, and memorandums of cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries and regional and international organizations. It also reviewed the implementation of projects and initiatives between government authorities, agencies, and the United Nations bodies. The cabinet also approved a draft law ratifying the amended and supplemented protocol of air services agreement between the governments of Bahrain and the Philippines signed on April 13, 2017. A proposal of placing guidance signs that simulate some disabilities have been approved. The cabinet approved the government's response to the proposal of establishing a new school in Hernania and a proposal on an assistant teacher position. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the achievements of Bahraini Falconers who participated in the Fakhr al Ajyal or Pride of the Generation Championship for Falconry, which was held in Abu Dhabi, UAE. His Highness affirmed that this achievement is a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support to traditional sports. He also hailed the wide participation from all Gulf countries in the competition. His Highness lauded the efforts and follow-up of the Chairman of the Traditional Sports Committee, Khalifa Abdullah Al-Gu'ud, and the members of the committee wishing everyone further success.